This is the 2024 Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 714. It's a high-end 14-inch convertible Chromebook. It's been on loan to me for a couple of weeks since I unboxed it, so I'm ready to give you my thoughts. I'll link you to that unboxing video at the end of this one so you can see a detailed overview, check out the specs and my initial impressions. Earlier this year I reviewed the 2022 first generation of this Spin 714 and even since then there's been another revision. This 2024 version has felt like it's really refined the previous designs. The full aluminium outer chassis has felt great every time I've picked it up. There's rounded corners on all edges now so it feels great to hold and it's a reasonable weight at 1.45 kg that's about 3.19 pound. The colour on this one is steel grey and at least on this model in the UK it still has silver hinges rather than gold which I personally prefer. Performance from browsing to gaming as expected was no issue at all with the Intel Core Ultra 5 processor in this model. I did also try to play Call of Duty Mobile Season 10 but that one was just crashing out. You may have seen me successfully playing it in this my review of the Lenovo Duet 11 inch that was earlier in the week perhaps the MediaTek chip helped there. Even when you are pushing the Chromebook Plus Spin 714 the fan and the heat are pretty minimal. Battery life has also been really decent Decent for me, I've been getting close to 8 hours with mixed use, Acer claim up to 10 hours is possible. It's really well equipped for connectivity too with a lot of options and all at the higher end of their specs available. The HDMI port is version 2.0, there's two Thunderbolt ports rather than USB-C 3.2 ports that we normally see on Chromebooks. Combined with the 512 gig SSD in this one, I thought it would be ideal for transferring some larger files from my camera, but it was still slower than expected, I'm not sure where the bottom neck was. It would have been great to have a USB-C port on the right hand side or another Thunderbolt port so you could charge on either side of your desk and a micro SD card reader could have been nice. Using the Spin 714 at my desk with my USB-C dock has worked well. I ran my two full HD monitors as extended displays with the Chromebooks display as a third with no issue. Being a convertible you can of course use it in a range of ways and I found the garaged active stylus to work well too, a definite benefit, so just double check it comes with any model spec you're looking at. One slight oddity is if you're already in tablet mode you can't actually get the stylus out so I had to remember to do that first. The display has been excellent, extremely bright at a claimed 340 nits. Colours looked great and they should with 100% coverage of the sRGB colour space. It's a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio display with a 1920 by 1200 full HD plus resolution. The bezels on each opposite side seem to be even too which I think has been an extra help when using this as a tablet. For video calls the Quad HD webcam at the top of the screen with its privacy slider has been a real step up, a notable difference from full HD webcams found on other Chromebook Plus models. The keyboard has been great to use, the keys have a medium to deeper travel and of course they're backlit but when did we stop backlighting the spacebar? I guess it's not needed. I just wish the keyboard deck itself was aluminium too rather than what feels like plastic. It's still pretty firm but there was some flex under pressure but nothing that would affect you in normal use. Perhaps related though very occasionally like I saw in the first gen spin 714 as I'm showing here I'd get the stylus tools prompt as if it thought I'd removed the stylus when I was picking it up. I couldn't recreate it on demand though. The fingerprint sensor has been a welcome inclusion once more I'm just reminding myself to use it more often to unlock the Chromebook. One of the improvements from the past version is moving the speakers to the side of the keyboard deck. They get fairly loud and the quality is good but still lacking in richness and bass. The trackpad is larger than on the previous model and I'm fairly certain it's glass. It feels excellent, well seated and responsive. I did encounter one odd fault with this particular 714. It wouldn't sleep correctly. It would hang with the blue LED power light still on and then after leaving the lid closed for about four minutes the light would go out as the Chromebook had crashed or powered off. So next time I lifted the lid it was booting fresh. Obviously I don't expect that to be the case for other Chromebook Plus Spin 714 and I couldn't see anyone else reporting this issue online. Whilst this Acer Chromebook Plus 714 is by no means cheap, it's delivering a premium experience and does it really well. With Chrome OS updates through to June 2034, I can fully get behind investing in a higher end Chromebook like this now if you know it's going to last you. You also of course benefit from all of the Chromebook Plus software including things like Help Me Read and you'll continue to do so into the future as new functions functionality is released. To see more on this 2024 Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 714 click the video to the left now. That's my original unboxing and first impressions or if you want to see how the 2022 Chromebook Spin 714 stood up when I tested it earlier this year that's the video on the right.